Hey gorgeous people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time to do that initial impression on the latest flanker. Yes, there's gonna be love, there's gonna be hate, there's gonna be anticipation and there's gonna be disappointment because of many reasons. Let's not go there, let's talk about the fragrance. So let's do an initial impression on Lanuit Delam and this is the EDP Concentration, the 2019 release. I have a 100 ml bottle here and I would like to say thank you Ifran Bhai for being so efficient uh, owner of USB page in Bangladesh, he, is, he does wonders. He gets these bottles before even people find it in USA or some of the countries where it's been released, he got it from UK. So I give props to Ifran Bhai, thanks. It really means a lot that you're bringing this uh, fragrance super fast in Bangladesh. And uh, I did not have planned to buy this, but when I saw it, I saw a few uh, comments from some of the brothers in few groups who actually owned it and owned them for a while. Uh, I decided to pull the trigger. It's not cheap at this point, but we'll talk about it. So La Nuit de Lom is a fragrance. It's a big fragrance in the community. If you talk about 10 fragrances for life in fragrance community, uh, forget about designer niche, La Nuit de Lom is going to make it on most people's book because it, it's such a big name. It's a top seller. And YSL is a, such a house that, you know, they sell a lot of these fragrances, but La Nuit de Lom is one of their big sellers, top sellers. So it's all started. Let me show you very briefly. Uh, uh, it started with Loam. This is their first fragrance of this line. I think, I believe, this is what that started the whole trend of these bottles, okay? So, the hexagonal, you know, like cap. Uh, I don't know if it's hexagonal. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Never mind. <laughs> so, it is this shape basically with a very big cap and this cylindrical bottle, very classy looking bottle. And I remember the French actor who was a uh, face for it. He was the actor of Unfaithful. So, I really dig their campaign and everything. But Loam was very soft always floral apple pie sort of smell which is very handsome gentlemanly fragrance it's very soft in nature it was never a beast so there is reformulation all that but then that started with i have had a uh, pleasure of owning one uh, 2012 i believe or 11 and then i got these two two more lanoid delon uh, i loved i fell in love with lanoid delon like crazy then i had a limited edition or a special edition bottle i forgot which one it was i think it was the, not the art edition, I think it was the special edition, like limited time release. And then I finally have a 2018 version of Lanuit Delum. So uh, Lanuit Delum to me is basically a very simple formula, but no one could copy it ever, like 100%. And then after that, they had a few other flankers, some were hit, some were missed, but I happen to own these two and I really enjoy them as well. These two are namely all electric. I really love this blue juice. It's very fresh summer, sort of like a, um, shower gel sort of feel and it's a little bit different than your Dior Sauvage and typical blue fragrances and also I happen to enjoy uh, Loam Ultime a lot. So these are not Lanuit de Lom flankers all, the, all of them but they're the same line basically. The ones also tried but I never reviewed were I think it was called uh, Lanuit de Lom uh, Le Parfum and there's intense version which is uh, let me see Lanuit de Lom Loam Lanuit de Lom Loam Intense uh, Lanuit de Lom Law Intense, yes, so I tried them both and I did try the Loam uh, Intense as well but for some reason I never found them to be like a very amplified version of Lanuit Delum which I was looking for. People still looking for a perfume version or something like a this kind of version because I'm taking a little bit of time to let you know the story of this where this actually is in the market. But they never actually could make Lanuit Delum properly as an in intensified version. So the best bed that you can have today, where, where did I keep? Yeah, here. The only bottle that you can find is original Lanuit Delon, which is still, in my opinion, the best. So can the new Lanuit Delon replace this or is it similar or is it a whole new fragrance? That's what you're gonna discuss. And I did wear it for a few days, the new one. And I'll give you my opinion, okay? And it's just initial impression. I have the fragrance sprayed on the paper for about 25 minutes or so it's just smelling fantastic so let me show you quickly the presentation if you if you haven't seen it right now so YSL same box if you do not have this it's the same like Lanuit Delon box just put a red eye-catching red EDP 100 ml they come 40 60 and 100 ml three bottle sizes no 200 ml yet and these are made in France I believe yeah made in France up there YSL bottom uh, I think you can find your batch code here so basically one thing you can see it this way that this is the first formulation of Lanuit Delum EDP. Even if it becomes heat or a miss, it's going to remain as the first formulation. So no reformulation issue. The bottle here, it's really beautiful. This is this is something, you know, it's just, it, I show it and I look at it in my display with extreme pleasure. At first I thought the bottle color is like this, like a 
orange, very dark orange with a black combination, I was very happy. But when I turn it this way, as you can see, the juice moves and the bottle is actually see through. This is a very passionate color. I think it's like a passion fruit color, whatever color it is. It's it's like lava, you know, it's like a red meets orange. Beautiful juice color. I really love the attention to detail in this bottle. Even the same bottle, same exact same everything. Bottom you get your sticker. Cap is like this. If you get a smaller bottle, it's gonna look really funny. The 40 ml bottle actually looks smaller than the cap. Cap is plastic, but good quality. Clicks onto place and uh, atomizer works really fine. Okay? Shoots out a lot of juice. So now let's get into this. So this fragrance is supposed to be the stronger version of Lanoidellum. There have been few reviews out already, initial impressions, and I really enjoyed all of them. Um, I think they, the reviewers who talked about it were really on point, they were honest, and they gave their personal opinion, which were very enjoyable. So my take on this one, first time I sprayed it, it was not what I expected. I was expecting uh, something in line of someone told me, the brother who told me, that it smells kind of like a Fahrenheit meets Durum Intense meet uh, Lanui Delon. So I was expecting like a Fahrenheit sort of opening. They, I thought there would be like a violet notes in this, but I was like, like welcome. You know, like when I sprayed this for the first time, uh, me and brother who brought this, we tried it at the same time for the first time. We got a lot of sweetness and we were like, mm, okay. Um, I looked at him, he looked at me, he's like, well, it's not bad, but it's not what I expected. <laughs> that was our first reaction, Ifran Bhai and me. Uh, but this fragrance, it's, uh, it changes, it has layers. That's what I discovered over time. So first thing that hit my nose was Tonka Bean Heavy, Tonka Bean and Lavender. Uh, there is supposedly a lemony, something lemony up top with cardamom. I did not detect quite the cardamom at first. First thing that hit my nose was something in line of this. Let me show you. If you know Tonka bean, their Tonka bean is used heavily in fragrance these days. So if you know Kuro Silver and Yopom Wild, I know these two are Tonka bean heavy, like Tonka bean bomb. Uh, these two are extremely potent, sweet stuff. And kind of like they give us like, kind of like a coconutty feel because of the Tonka bean. It smells extremely sweet, sometimes like licorice. And if you mix vanilla and then, you know, other stuff like, uh, what else is there? Licorice, vanilla, musk, become extremely sweet. So these are extremely sweet Tonka beans. So minus those fragrances, just the Tonka Bean note, that's what welcomes me first time. Then as time passes by, the juice color, as you can see on the paper, it's actually orange. So I would recommend you not to spray this on your shirt. Okay, be careful. So then I start getting that backbone of Lanoidolum. It starts getting visible slowly, but it just floats around, you know, on the air. It doesn't really give you like, oh, it's gonna be another Lanoidolum, you know, reincarnated or something, you know, reincarnation. No, it doesn't really, quite happen it becomes very layered sort of perfume what i mean by layered it's not a transparent i think uh, one of the reviewers i forgot his name i'm sorry i think he's a british reviewer he said uh Lanidilum is more like a zingy sort of like a fresh kind of fragrance it has kind of like you know oomph to it like it projects a little bit more it's transparent and it's edity so it will project a little bit more but this one will last a little bit more but it won't um let's say project that much but it will last definitely longer than lanidolum that was his comparison i would say this one when you spray for the first time it gave me the effect of dior sauvage edp uh, how that works that was extremely strong extremely potent uh, dior sauvage edp lasts a long time projects a long time but dior sauvage edp actually beats uh, like edp for projection in the long run so this is the case with this this fragrance lasts on my shirt more than a day uh, and on the skin given that weather right now is very hot, not the ideal weather to wear it, but when it rains, this is where it's gonna change because it's gonna be welcoming you with second layer of iris, cardamom a little bit more, and then the sandalwood. Then slowly at the base, I think I start getting hint of, not leather, but more like a suede leather, sweet suede. You know, it's more like a uh, Durham Intense joins the party with Lanry Delon. I don't know where they found this idea, but I saw Law Intense, they actually introduced our Le Parfum, uh, I think one of them they introduced uh, Iris. That was very beautifully done fragrance on the dark one, but uh, Fahren uh, no, not Fahrenheit, sorry. Lanudelum, uh, I think what's the name? Sorry. Lanudelum Le Parfum, yeah. That fragrance was very tame. This one, so far, whatever perfume, Lanudelum, whatever I've gone through, this is the strongest of them all. So if you're looking for a performer of Lanudelum, this is the performer. But not quite the smell. The freshness of the Bergamo is a little bit less. Cardamom is there, but it's more like a sweetened, more uh, winter-like, more cold weather-like. That's when you're gonna really enjoy the magic of this. 
fall um like it starts even like when it's even let's say uh snowing out there i think you can wear this so when is it good for our countries that's what many people would like to know is it suitable for our country yes upcoming winter two more three more months cold weather is gonna come and welcome us a little bit heat is gonna settle down when it rains yeah you can pretty much wear this five months at least and if you're living in the ac room working no issue whatsoever very strong very sweet very compliment garner sort of fragrance i think it's gonna get noticed women love this kind of fragrance with fragrances so they did something safe but not quite uh, what Lanvi de Lhomme for me did so far because I wore Lanvi de Lhomme since 2015 so I cannot say at this present moment this is gonna get more compliments than this all right but Lanvi de Lhomme at this moment is number one okay still number one why even the performance is great in this longevity is good projection is good but Lanvi de Lhomme remains a little bit more versatile you can wear this get away with this in kind of like a breezy cooler summer days when it rains it's a little bit cloudy and you can wear this because it has the freshness it's a little bit like transparent and now after reformulation it's even more transparent so it's a little bit more versatile than this one but if you happen to like fragrances like also if you i show you a little bit the dna of if you see the bottles also fahrenheit le parfum yeah there's a definite similarity between the red and the red and black combination so they try to give a little bit of darkness in this one okay so the sweetness darkness and the tonka bean slight bit of uh, suede uh, that pops up i think there's sandalwood in this also very creamy sweet so it goes towards like if you like i would kind of like to think it's more like a coconutty sweetness it almost gives you the vibes of gourmandish kind of uh, feel so you can definitely try it you can wear a leather gloves leather jacket and stuff you can wear this fragrance it's gonna be sweeter it's gonna be uh, classy it's gonna be perfect for date night but if you really want to flirt i suggest still go with original lanoid alarm no uh, questions asked this fragrance is still the most flirtatious fragrance out there right so how far do i like it it's number two right behind lanoid alarm and it's above the rest of them even better than loma i like this okay uh, the fragrance um, where is the paper? The fragrance, it, it, it is sweeter version of Lanvi de Lhomme. Let's just put it like that. If you like something sweet, if you do not want uh, that spicy cardamom, that lavender to be uh, that transparent and you want a little bit more from your Lanvi de Lhomme push and you want to try something new, it's a new fragrance. I would say it's a new fragrance. It's, uh, they built like a whole thing layer by layer. So if you like those notes that I mentioned, you can give it a try beautiful bottle beautiful fragrance longevity is good but not 10 definitely i'll give this like on my skin it's more like eight out of ten okay lanvi de Lhomme, it's better than lanvi de Lhomme. Lhomme is really really fleeting after like two hours or so right so yeah interesting release but definitely try before you buy that is my only request get a sample get a decan or go to the mall and sniff it it might work for you and see the dry down how it works on your skin and try it again in cold weather so that is my initial impression I'm not going to give it a mark just yet, but let me see. I'll do a full-on review after using it for a few months or a few weeks, right? I'll give you updates somewhere in the channel. Lanvi de Lhomme EDP, solid release. If uh, if you ask me to compare finally, think of Dior Sauvage versus EDT versus EDP. That's basically that uh, comparison I can think of at this moment. Dior Sauvage EDT was more transparent, lemony, uh, like more uh, projector versus EDP DP was more creamy sweeter more mature and more fuller fragrance this is a more fuller fragrance with a lot more layers and a lot more thing going on in this we can unfold it layer by layer as time goes by it's really good performer so far on the shirt it holds really really well just make sure do not spray this on your white shirt it's gonna leave a stain <laughs> take care guys thanks for watching and uh, if you also let me show you one last thing I like to talk a lot if you happen to enjoy this kind of fragrances like Yo Wow or Gucci Guilty Absolute, you know, these kind of fragrances are not for everybody, but people like to try a little bit something different. So I also say try new things, you know, not I'm talking about Lanvi Delon. If you see some notes that are not your favorite notes, that fragrances are not your type, give it a try. You know, there's, it's always nice to learn new things. You know, that's what be my... Uh, request to all of you uh, try some of the new fragrances something darker if you like fresh try the other side of the life you might have more things that you can enjoy take care guys i'll see you soon good night from Dhaka, bangladesh bye, -bye.